I, I'm, I'm going to give you a boring answer. I'm going to say not different. Uh, I think we're pretty good at uh, learning. If I still have students in 35 years, um, I'm going to be telling them to pick up a pencil and paper and write the examples they're working on down and, and work them out and wire it into their brain that way. I think the word flexible really encompasses like what I would imagine education or hope education looks like in 2050 um, just because it can mean so many different things and like accommodate so many different learning styles. We are so dependent on the genres of education, the lecture, the quiz, the midterm, the final paper, the final exam. We're so dependent on those genres that are patterns of interaction. I think they've constrained how we imagine what education could be. So if I were looking forward, hopefully, I would hope that we could summon the energy to challenge those traditional patterns and find alternatives, experiment with them. Virtual reality within a heart, rather than imagining what a heart does and what it looks like. You know, virtual reality of being able to experience how a drug is metabolized in the first person rather than imagining or, or thinking about um, what it looks like from a place where you can't see it. Um, I think that's part of the future is that we get closer to the things that we talk about and we actually begin to immerse ourselves in the way that things happen around us. Thank you.